Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 108 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about folder synchronization. All right, we're in the library module of Lightroom. And if we go over to the left-hand panel, you know there's a tab there called Folders. And in that tab, we have all our folders. Every image is in one of these folders. Now, sometimes what happens, particularly if we use photo editing programs other than Lightroom, images will get put into these folders and Lightroom won't know that they're there. For example, we'll have Lightroom closed and we might, I don't know, use a program that adds watermarks to our images and we have Lightroom closed, we open that program in up and we go into some of these folders and we're editing these images that are in the folder. Well, the program might make a backup and save it into one of these folders or it might create a whole new image with the watermark, let's say, and save it into one of these folders or whatever. So images are getting added to these folders and Lightroom doesn't know that images are being added to the folder. When you open up Lightroom, it's just not going to show there, that they're there. Well, you could go through the import dialog and import images and try to find them and import them one by one or in groups or whatever it is by folder, but that's very tedious. There is an easier way and it's called synchronize folder. And one thing I'll add real quick, for lack of a better term, sometimes Lightroom gets a burp. And what I mean by that is often, I'll know I have a specific image in a specific folder and I'll go to that folder and that image isn't there. Now Lightroom's not even showing that it's missing, it's just not there. It's not there at all, not even a, a thumb stamp view of the image. So Lightroom kind of just forgot that that image is in that folder. And if you ever encounter that, synchronized folder would probably help also. So what you need to do is go to the library of Lightroom and find the root folder. Just open your folders up, and the root folder is the folder that contains all the other folders. Now I call mine Lightroom Raw Files. So you just click on that. So that way Lightroom is going to look at all the subfolders for any images that are there that it doesn't have in the catalog. Then what you need to do is go up to Library and then down to Synchronize Folders or Synchronize Folder. Now when I do that, you'll see this box pops up and you can see it's saying counting. That means it's right now going through all these folders looking for any images that are in there that it doesn't know are in there. It's also going through the folders looking for any images that it thinks should be in there that aren't in there. Now you can see it finished. It found eight photos in these folders that are in there but Lightroom doesn't know they're in there. So I have the option to import those new photos. And there's a little sub option here, show import dialog before importing. If I click that box, what will happen when I click synchronize is the import dialog box will open up. And I'll have the option to add metadata to it, maybe my copyright info to the images or add keywords. And I could specify what folders to save those specific images in. If you don't have this box checked, this sub box checked, what will happen is the images will just be imported right where they are. So whatever folders they happen to be in, that's where they're going to stay. Now I'm going to leave them in whatever folders they're in. It's a little easier and faster that way. So I'm just going to leave that first box checked and that second box not checked. Now you can see this part that is grayed out. It says remove missing folders from the catalog. It didn't find any fo any missing photos at all. So that's good. Now if it did find missing photo or find if it found that some fo um, photos were missing, then I have the option of removing them from the catalog. Um, fortunately, like I said, that doesn't apply here. Now this last one, scan scan for metadata updates. Often, if we're working in plugins or in other programs, those applications will modify the metadata of our images. And Lightroom sometimes will keep a hold of the old metadata and won't recognize the new metadata. And this doesn't apply just for these eight photos. This is for every single photo that is in 
all of the subfolders. So what will happen is if I click synchronize right now, it will import the eight photos that aren't in the catalog, but it's as also going to scan each and every one of these photos, all 35 plus thousand of them, and look for metadata updates and apply the updates if one is available. So for this video, now typically when I do run this, I do keep this checked. But for this video, I'm going to leave that unchecked because it just will be a little faster if I don't do that function. So what we'll do is I want it just like this, and we're going to click Synchronize. And you can see up here we have a status bar. And the status bar is now again kind of looking through the folders, trying to find any images that happen to be in the folder that aren't in the catalog. And it's going to add them to the catalog, and they're going to show up here. Now it's just going to take a second, so I will, well, it's going pretty quick now. Maybe I won't pause the video. And once again, there they are. It's starting to find them now. It looks like some textures got misplaced for whatever reason. See, it found four. Now it did show eight. So let it finish. And there's the other four. So there are the eight images. Now they are in my Lightroom catalog. So those were sitting in these folders. But Lightroom didn't know they were there. And as you can see, they're textures. So that is something that I recommend you run quite often. Once every few weeks, once a month. Just go to that root folder and run. Go up to library and go down to synchronize folder. Um, that I, I think you should run quite often. You'll be surprised sometimes what it finds. And... You know, that's it for this episode. I hope that helps and taught you something you didn't know. And I hope you find some long-lost images. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Also, I'd just like to add real quick is that all my videos are free. And they're free because many people are kind enough to help me out. If you'd like some info on how to help me out, if you hover over the image or over the video, if you look in the top right-hand corner, there's an eye. If you click on that eye, you'll get some info on how you could help me out. There's also a link in the description below this video uh, to my website where it explains different ways you could help me make the best free photography how-to videos possible. That's it. I'll talk to you guys soon.